Yeah. All right, yo, y'all ready? We good. We Episode recording? four, Stuck on Stuff. God damn, you always pull that shit quick on me. I didn't know we, we was recording. <laughs> I know. We are recording. What up, yo? What's, What's good, Stiz? Today, today we got a special guest. Who? Straight from New England. New England's own photographer, filmmaker, super photographer, super filmmaker, video director. Videographer. Hey, he, he literally does everything. Yeah, he really does. It's Rose Glenn in the building. What up, hey, what up, what up? hey, hey, hey. Hey. What up, Rose Glenn? What up? Or John. I call him John. I don't know a lot of people. John Avini, I, for anyone that don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people just call him Rose Glenn, like if it's his um, name. I was guilty of that for a very long time so, myself. So, do you know the origin of Rose Glenn? Snuff? Nah, but I'll tell you one thing. It all kind of hits you when you roll up to his crib one day, ah. and, the, and the address is... He lives on Rose Glen. Exactly. Fuck, was it dr- Drive or Street? Street, yeah, Rose yeah, yeah. Glen Street. I remember when I seen that, I was like, ah, now I get it. Yeah, because yeah, like stop and take pictures, and they'll send it to me as if like they didn't. Like, people that <laughs> didn't know I lived there, you like know what you I didn't. Mean? Like I didn't know it was a street. You like, know, I so, found this. I had to turn around. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so they're literally <laughs> they're like seconds away from your crib taking a picture. So, yo, we got to get into the Kevin Hart shit. We got to get into... Um, oh, man, the iPhone the drop. IPhones. New iOS. A bunch of shit happened this week. Trump man. said something crazy. Oh, man, I bet. I ain't even plugged in on that. Uh, there's a new Catch Me Outside girl. <laughs> right, a right. The other white girl. Yeah, yeah. I forget but her name. But let's talk to... Let's talk, John. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about your story. How, how did you come up in this, uh, you know, I'll say hip-hop scene, but... Yeah, but it's different. creative scene. It's in, different in than general. rapping and shit, like what you're doing. I mean, I definitely carved out like Your my lane, lane in in hip hop first. That's where I really got started with all the stuff. That's the first couple paying gigs. That's the first like music things. videos. Um, yeah, you know, bootleg ass music videos. Right, that, like, right. You know, fresh out of high school, had a camera that I bought because I had taken some classes in high school. Right, and I liked I liked that stuff, so I bought a camera, and we were just fooling around. And actually, I mean, it, it really it really all started uh, the creative process because. Of high school in a in a class that we Where'd had. Where'd really you go? Cool, Where uh, Stoughton High. High. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, video production in high school was like the class that you could get away with anything. Yeah. So right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Slack so off. it yeah. was like it, it was funny because you could you could do the opposite of what they asked. Like we could make our teachers look stupid, but still deliver a project that was creative right. and, yeah, yeah, and they could yeah. respect. And yeah, it was just an interesting take to like kind of be rebellious, but like still be able to like you know do good. Yeah. And, uh, and right. they appreciated it still. So. I was like, you can make anything look like anything, you know? And then I had this kid who was living with me at the time, um, like, I, right after high school. He was a friend that, like, used to be friends with my older brother. Like, this kid who would, he'd come around when he was clean, but when he was, like, being a junkie, he would he'd not be there, right? Yeah. And then, you know, he started fucking up again when he was at my house. So we were like, maybe if we just make, like, a documentary of how fucked up he is and just show it to him. We wow. don't have to put yes. him on blast. Like, maybe he'll, he'll see how, you know, how stupid he looks. And um, I had him, you know, begging me for change for cigarettes. Yeah. I had I've him like seen all this. this shit. I've never and, seen um, this. Oh, you dropped this like for the public? Well, this was. I may have shown you a clip. Yeah. Probably showed, yeah. but yeah. it's 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 you can find it, but it's not on any. You wouldn't find okay. it on a Rose Glenn page. Right. Um, it's out there though somewhere. And um, yeah, it is. So what happened when you showed dude? What was I, dude's name? If, can we say his name? I'd rather not. All right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. But uh. Because <laughs> I remember it was like blah blah story or something. Yeah. Or something like so that. what happened when you showed him though? Um. When he he was sober once and we showed him and he goes, you know, you you think that no one can tell you're high and you feel like you're on top of the Fam, world. I'm and he telling goes, you. But then you realize like uh, anyone would notice, right. you know. And, to this uh, day, I swear that like no one knew I was high. But, yeah, like, everyone, everyone knew. Everyone knew. Everyone knew. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that actually, you know. So that was weird. the beginning of that. Yeah. And then like, you know, I had some friends who made So music. that was like your first real video? Well, that wasn't. No one commissioned me to do that. That but, was but me still, being creative. And yeah. me, that was the first Editing thing I took initiative clips. outside of school. Outside yeah, of yeah. having a project. Outside of having to do something. That was the first thing I did on my own. Yeah. Not seeking a career in this or anything right. like that. But just because we were having fun. And, and this is right out of high school. Yes. 18 years old. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when did you start being uh, like, yo, I'm going to start doing music videos is i know you're a hip-hop dude you you mess with a lot of hip-hop people a lot of your friends are actual rappers and shit started. is that is what it i is? had some just neighborhood friends that i grew up with that you know always rap but never we were young and they never took they recorded and stuff but they never were like who were some of your first ones anybody we might know um like from boston the, hip-hop um, anybody the battle rapper in the state flames in the state flames who he else? battled chilla jones and stuff back in the day oh, okay. so i know people might know him from that Shout he was um, chilla he was kind of big in the battle world like you know, five six years ago i don't know he's, right. what he's doing right now but uh he was the first dude who was like oh that's cool what you're doing i seen what you did for his boy who was one of my friends that oh, we were just right. messing around we were doing that for you know just yep. kicking it like one day i got a camera out 
And uh, he was like, oh, it looks wicked cool. And I was just experimenting with, you know, all sorts of different effects and stuff. It didn't have a direction. It right, wasn't because you weren't crazy with the editing it yet, wasn't, probably yeah, at that time. Yeah, we weren't even good at shooting. We didn't know how right. to do it. Like, I hadn't studied any of that, really. Yeah, yet. yeah. And, um, we were just messing around. But he seemed to like it, and he was, you know, trying to make some music videos. And he was, you know, it was one of those, I'll give you 100 bucks, just come out here and just do this. And it was like, oh, whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah why not? 100 bucks. We'll go smoke some weed, drink some oh, beer yeah. in the park, and, like, yeah. shoot a video. Yep. Like, that's what happened. We were like, oh, cool. And then, like, you know, it just kept rolling from there. And, so who you know, would you say who would you say was like the first big person that you did a video? Or well, someone with a name. It could be an underground um, yeah, whatever. Definitely Rex. Rex was yeah. the first person to um I did the joint with him off the static album Chasing about Jay, five yes, years ago. Yes, um, that was shot in Boston, wasn't it? Yeah, we shot that in Hyde Park and yeah. uh, I think that's when I places. started coming familiar with seeing the, the name the graphic of Rose Glenn Rose Glenn? through really? I think Rex. R. I. P. Biggs, because I believe Biggs is in that R. I. P. Chasing Biggs. video. Biggs, if he's not in that one, he's in Definitely the recipe video. He's definitely yep. in. Yeah. We had a lot of good think, times with him. I met yeah, him yeah. through Rex, actually. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, how did, you, how did you link up with Rex? Um, in the green room at the Middle East one day. It was, um, I don't remember. I think it was the Eddie Bones benefit, maybe before that. Oh, um, I remember that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was, was a, a everyone was there. Right, yeah. Yeah, And yeah, um, yeah. we were just in the back, smoked out, taking pictures, how whatever. How did you get in and, the uh, back? Well, I had a connection with Leeds from... A few years before that, he just you know reached out. I think I I think I reached out to him and said, "Hey, you mind if I come shoot this show or Super something?" Super promoter leads, editor. and um, he said, "Yeah, come through." And then you know that was I was I was on, not even twenty one at that time. You know really? I was like probably nineteen, and he was just like, "Oh, you ever want to come back? Just let me know." So um, cool. he started hitting me up to come shoot shows, and then you know by that time I had a relationship with him, and I was shooting that show. So I was backstage. Oh, so now you just mean anybody that's met, to the Middle East and shit. Yeah, so yeah. I met a lot of people through. Ned's actually responsible for for giving me, a, you know, all access to a number of shows for over yeah. the past eight years that right. have uh, allowed me to meet tons of awesome people. So because you shot for some crazy people, I mean, I mean, what? I think Bron- Action Bronson, Sean P. Sean P. Definitely not action. Not but, action. Um, I'm trying to think of like some of the bigger ones that I've seen. I mean, I've shot Mob you know, Deep. Mob Deep. Um, you know Smith and Wesson, all all those dudes. Yeah. Um, Superstar Snuck, he's got a huge Superstar list. Superstar Snuck, this yeah. grimy, um, right? You know Meth and Red, um, major shit. Absolutely. I, think. I mean, outside. So the crazy shit about Rose Glendo is he he doesn't like pigeonhole himself. He's not just a fucking rap. Well, video, especially as of late too. And I think I, I think I texted you out of the blue like uh, a couple months ago and was just like, "Yo, salute," because I seen him like doing. Fucking makeup shoots, right. birthdays, bar mitzvahs. That's why I like, wanted to right. talk to you about it because you know this this show is about stuff. Even though it's two right, two right. hip hop do heads doing it, it's not just about you know what I'm saying. And what's dope about John is he does other shit besides the rap videos. Literally, like you was just saying, like like beauty industry shit. Like and, and this month, too, this yeah. big money in that shit. Ain't well, no yeah, think about it. No money in this rap shit. Everybody you know needs video. You know what I mean? Right. Like for it's the funny most because part, I watch it evolve in different industries. Everybody in the rap world or music world has been on that. We know video is a good promotional tool kick for yeah. since they've been making music videos. You know, right. for thirty years, forty, however long they've been doing this. Um, well, however long they've been investing in it properly. You know, um, but they're just learning that in. What yeah. seems to me in the beauty world is like when I first started working in that world or like making videos, you know, they just wanted photos. They didn't want videos. Yeah. They just wanted photos because that's, that's what, what was thought. Instagram yeah, was popular. Yeah, yeah, Instagram yeah. only had photos. I had 15 second videos at the yeah, time or yeah. something. You know, yeah. they didn't have minute long videos. So then when that changed, the video, I think video posts on Instagram increased like 400% or something once I they changed it, it from yeah. 15 per- seconds to a minute. Right. So. Now everyone in this industry wanted videos, and now these same people who turned down an epic video I shot for them were coming back to buy the old video. Ah, you know, and I was like, "Oh, crazy!" That's, you know, so talk about that 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 beauty. Like, how do you get involved there? I know firsthand. You told me some shit. Like, um, when you messing with the beauty shit and shooting for them, they fucking they f- they're flying you crazy places, or you're going to crazy places. You're with and crazy why? people. You're yeah, chilling with m- crazy people. You're in fucking LA. It's, yeah, man, it's crazy because when you. Like, I'm a fan of hip-hop, so when I meet someone course, who's yeah. famous in hip-hop, like, I know who they are, I right. know what they're about, I know their story, especially if I'm a fan of them. If I meet the most famous hairdresser in the you world, have I'm no not going to know who it is. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Nah, you told you're me you're chilling like, like millionaires and shit, and you have no fucking idea. Invited to, like, parties with, you know, people who are top-tier people in that industry, and you don't know who anyone is like yeah. it's not necessarily a bad i feel like i i build better there's, relationships yeah, that there's way probably because right. no one's fanboying you're not no sucking yeah, dick exactly. yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah so i mean 
that I don't. I got into that Shouts world. Not, you're not sucking <laughs> dick, bro. Well, he's you know? not. They don't know. He don't know the resume. To, you know what I'm saying to this, even yeah, do it exactly. if he wanted to. So like, yeah, like so. My boy owns a salon down the street from my house, and um, him and his girl, and they're super awesome people. And he was hosting a a class that was his salon was hosting a class that was being held by some famous hairdressers. So that's how I met a couple big name hairdressers and they liked my work. So then one of them fast forward a year or two, um, put together an app, like an educational hair app. She's got books out. She's got a bunch of stuff. Um, so she needed video and photo content, all these tutorials for that app. So what she would do was she would fly me to New York or fly me to LA and we would just meet up for a couple of days and, hit a bunch of different salons of her friends who are also famous and shoot Fucking features awesome. with them, you Crazy. know, so she could drop them once a month. So we'd meet up once every five, six months and shoot five or six videos. So she has content for everything, but she's out of content. So That's we're going to be major. Oh, there you go. soon. So, so wait, there's, there's a major couple, companies too that he fucks with. Yeah. There's a couple things I want to touch on. One, um, the, uh, how I met you and then, but first talk about, so did you ever start to like, you know, take videoing serious and try to start to learn like the, the mechanics of it and like the technical of aspects of <laughs> yeah. it? Like, well, yeah, as I got more into it, I mean, you, you just, I sit on YouTube all day and yeah. watch tutorials. And then I, you know, I started signing up for just, you know, things like Skillshare that are, you know, cheap, 12 bucks a month, but Yo. you can watch, you know, a bunch of dope tutorials yeah real quick dude shout out to i don't know if you guys have heard of gary v vaynerchuk i saw him at he i got booked at a hair event no that he spoke at and he was there he spoke at yeah wow, that's called Idealog. so gary time, yeah. is this dude from out in ny he's probably like i don't know you know early oh, to late speaker, 30s dude? no he's, he's in his sp- 40s now yeah gary vaynerchuk yeah yeah he's a speaker but he's he's an entrepreneur you know what i mean this that's the guy i'm thinking of yeah I probably him, yeah. he yeah. always yeah. does yeah. the motivation he's like yo videos. you're like you're lazy blah 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 but so that's what i wanted to say in the age of the internet, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. So, like you saying, like, yo, yeah. I watched YouTube videos, like, or they have classes, like, cheap yeah. classes. I like, mean, so. even Harvard, I think it was Harvard, one of them, uh, one of these big schools out here put out all their photography classes online for, like, a couple months. They just put them out and said, yeah, you can have You just got to be you know, so smart you, enough to take advantage of yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. People don't do that. Who reads anymore? Who really right. sits there and studies yeah. what they're trying? Like, that, I mean... Lately, I've got into a lot more photography, so I've been studying pictures more than video. Yeah. But you know, it, I fall into phases because it's harder that. than a, it's not just fucking taking a picture. It's not right. just pressing Anybody a button. Can, yeah, but like, or like when people say, "Oh, you have a nice camera." Like your your camera takes great pictures. Is the best one. It's like <laughs> oh, <yeah>. okay, <laughs> yeah, here, right, like yeah. you do you, it. Yeah, you yeah. know, here's the camera. Like so, I met John. Um, I think through JFK. I think that's how I met John. You know JFK, right? Yeah, yeah I know show JFK. Off. Shout out, show off. Um, so I met John through JFK. I needed a video. I hadn't done a video yet. So uh, JFK oh, yo, Rose Glenn did your him. main shit, right? The, well, well, my yes. favorite shit. I so, call it the main shit. Yeah, it is. No, it is the main shit. <laughs> I was giving out fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shit. we we did. I did a freestyle over the motto, and that was like the first thing that I linked up with him and did. But that was just like something little, and I remember so. You know, at the time, I remember seeing the Rose Glenn, you know, that, that intro. Right. It had be, ha, was starting to get, like, a name for itself. It was a dope and, intro, yeah. Exactly. I don't use it anymore. I really should keep doing that, huh? Right. So, I remember the motto, I didn't get the intro. And I didn't say nothing, but I'm <laughs> like, ah, all right, all right. right, right. But so then, yeah, then I linked up with him to do No Turning Back, and that video came out crazy. Did it have crazy. the intro? Yes, it did. Oh, see, Plus I must have just been high, dude. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to, like, email him everything exactly that you want. Yo, I need that yeah, intro. Yeah. <laughs> nobody, that video. Ever, nobody requested the intro before. Right, Yo, right, right. Especially popping, back then, bro. you know. The see, you probably popping. don't think about this, but as the artist, you think about it. It makes your video look super official when it starts off super official like looking like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, like a stamp of approval. Who's in that intro? I remember, like, I would always try to, like, Pause because well, I thought I saw um, Eminem, but it obviously no, it's, is not. Isn't Eminem. Slain in? Slain? Slain's like the last shot. I think like yeah. Slain Rex, just whoever I had worked with at that yeah, time yeah, that yeah. I had footage of that was cool. It got um, better as time went on. Rose Glen Entertainment. That was a guy who um, called himself Bob the Bruin, who is a homeless man who used to hang outside yes. the bus station all the time. Really? And I saw him so many different occasions, and uh, he always offered me. Um, Voice that over really work. Cheap, no, that really cheap. Uh, like the Kraft macaroni vodka. and cheese guy. He wanted to be the, um, in and shit. That really cheap, like, 100 proof Roman's vodka. Oh, uh, so fucking rubble, would, yeah. rubble, whatever. Yeah, rubles. he'd always. Rubles. Uh, no, but no, like, you're talking about Roman, but there is a rubles. No, there was there was another. I don't remember what it was called. Another bottom shelf it was, scumbag. Yeah, it was, but he would always, he goes, 
quote. He goes, it puts hair on the bottom of your feet. <laughs> and I go, what? And he goes, you want a blast? And I go, no, nah, just just give me a shout out real quick. And he's like, you got it. So like that's wow. where that that's came from. That's where that came from. And um, I think I I think I bought him a beer or something. I don't know. And like, you, you know, would you pull out the phone? Is like, yo, just no, say I had my a name. camera. I was out shooting something at the time already when I had that's when so I saw funny. him. So shout I out my man Kurt who once took a uh, swig. From a bum's vodka outside of uh, North Station. Yo, I've done that. All right, yo, Major. so real quick, we're going to deviate from the path. But speaking, this is a true-ass story. One time, this was probably like, I don't know, it had to be like 10 years ago. So I was I was at Alewife Station. It's on the red line. It's like in yep. Cambridge. Yep. And this is like when I was in the middle of like my running. I was just, I was a fool. So I, I meet this old guy out on the bench, and he's drinking vodka. And somehow, like, I just start talking to this guy, right? And it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're, we're talking, we're talking. I end up starting to sip off his vodka. He's telling <laughs> me these old nasty. war stories, right? Doug, next thing I know, we're on the train. We went to the glass slipper. This, and this dude had money. I don't know. He had to have been like 65, 70 years old, but he had money. And we went to the glass slipper, and he bought like a couple lap dances, and then I left. I, I left the, him there, yeah. He that's went, the he went weirdest the story room. I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done some shit, yo. No bullshit. I, uh, I seen a, I had vodka on me. This is ironic, actually. And a homeless guy asked us for money. We were probably fourteen or fifteen in Southie, and uh, I said I don't have any money, but I have this bottle of vodka. And he poured the change out of his plastic cup, and I poured <laughs> the vodka into the dirty plastic oh, cup. Oh yes! And he started drinking it. Yeah. Love yes. it, love yes. it. You got to get that in you. So Snuck, did you ever do a video with Rose? With, I've, done, with I've done a few with Rose Glenn. Uh, Which ones? Well. Well, man, we did ninety nine again. That was, was so it? last minute. It was so last minute. I don't even like to. I I might even fucking delete it, but um, <laughs> but uh, we've done a few things. Oh, you know what it is? Rose Glenn does all my fuck your challenge. Uh, web- oh, that's right. Yes, yes. It's a Which series I recently have, just came out. I have on my um on my YouTube channel Snuck St. <clears throat> um, there's a whole series called Fuck Your Challenge. And it's a trilogy. There's three of them. He did all three of them. We we knock them out every time. It was kind of like the in house series that you did. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. little bit, a little similar. Yeah, it's just but a yeah, mic and a setup, and, and me just going him. And he does that shit. Billy Loman did did the last beat, didn't he? Yeah, he did the last beat. Rose Rose Glenn, I always go to Rose Glenn for that because he has, he got what I want for a nice tight shot. But yeah, we've I'm sure we've done a bunch uh, of other shit. He's yeah, done that. Wasn't he shit. on a song with you? Oh, watch me stunt. He did Stiz Grimey. He did watch yep. me stunt. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that was a song that me and Snuck. We just uh, performed you know, that at the Boston Freedom Rally. Yeah, this yeah. Past go weekend. on YouTube and see that. Which That's I out missed, right. unfortunately. I was there Saturday, but I didn't oh, make yeah. it Sunday. Right. Yeah, you look like you had a good ass time on uh, I had a Saturday. Good time. I had a good weekend, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Maroney was yeah, another I saw some one. Statuses. Sh- shout out Maroney. Maroney, when I seen him Sunday, bro, he was lit. I seen lit. Maroney over there. I missed a bunch of people. I didn't see Fennell yet. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see Saturday either. Yeah, no, Pete was there. We were there Sunday. We were there Sunday. Yeah, because we had to do the friggin' party. Podcast at the same exact time. Right. Yeah, we did the podcast Saturday. And, and term set was at one, and we sh- shoot the I shit. I saw a term. Yeah, I saw a term. Paul Wall, I heard, did his thing. I didn't stick around for Paul Wall, but I heard he did his thing. Him and Baby Bash. Yep, I didn't see that. Yo, real quick, we just we, you were just talking about deleting videos. What do you think about deleting videos? Like I, in general? Oh, you asking me? Or? I, I'm just I'm throwing the question out there. You mean music videos? Or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I I have thought about deleting videos. I haven't yet. Everything that I've put out, I've I've put out. I haven't I haven't taken anything. I guess down. if you're not happy with something, but I know take it down. I know I know my I know Right Hook has. I know he's taken down some. Well, people grow. Yeah. You know, if you don't, I don't like a lot of things. If it was up to me, I'd take some video other people's right. videos down. Yeah. That I did, you know what I mean? so, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So uh, I don't blame nobody. I would never get butt hurt if someone took a video I did five years ago down. You know. What right. do you think about uh, when you like if you shoot the video? What do you feel about whose YouTube thing it should go on? I feel like That's a good that question. should be, um, well, I mean, that that should totally be up for, like, that should be discussed beforehand. Negotiable. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. personally, I don't care. Um, if it's if it's not my music, I'm not going to be able to make money off it anyway true, on true. My, my page. So if their music is protected. Oh, really? Yeah, if their music's protected correctly, if I go to upload it anyway, it's, it's going to give them you. the money. Oh, right. so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you got your shit done official and, through, like, BMI or something. Yeah. You're official like me. He ain't making I don't make any money off YouTube, so I'm not worried about where that stuff goes. Yeah, yeah I'm work... not making any money. But imagine if you had a video that for whatever fucking right, reason, right, right. Blew. And then the one dude is butt hurt or whatever. I know when I work with Rose Glenn, we work shit out ahead of time. Where yeah, I'm like, absolutely. yo, look, I'm gonna drop it on. Um, we're gonna drop it through my YouTube page, but you could drop it through your Facebook channel. 
with all the videos. So yeah, so we yeah, we yeah. both kind of it's t- it's almost good, two right. different. And a lot of time, like especially if like if someone's paying me to do something, I'm very like whatever you want. You know well, what I mean? Like whatever right. you want. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, that's but, funny um, too because if that it's can... something that I want to get creative and I say, hey Snook, write me some bars because I want to do something like a you down with throwing. Yeah, don't, yeah, like, yeah. Right, doing right. this for me because this is yeah. something I want to do to build my brand. You know, and that's kind of what that was was a combination of both. Yeah, for sure. He wanted to get off his chest. I could utilize it to just. You know, because other people were like, bring oh, attention I to the page or like whatever. That. Yeah, because yeah, you know? that communion video I saw, it yeah. was the weirdest thing. I felt like an idiot, and then I didn't. And I'm like, so what happened was, I was just <laughs> on your, I was on your page, on your YouTube page, right. and I seen communion <clears throat> blow, and it had like I don't know, three hundred views, right. and I clicked it, and it was your, it said your channel. It didn't have your name at the beginning though, but I, I was really, I really liked the song, and mm-hmm. I liked the video too, but I really, really liked the song. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe this shit only has 300 views, yo. And I'm like, wow, this is kind of crazy. I reposted the video. Remember you said something to me about that. You were like, oh, did you, you know, did John show you this or something? And I don't know. I don't remember. It was, yeah, it was this joint. And um, and then I seen, like, I started to try to look this dude up. And I seen that he had posted the video himself right. through his own page. And that right. shit oh. had, like, 12,000 plays Well, I let that go for months. And Exa- then what and I then, like to do is yeah, I post yeah, them course. on my YouTube, but I don't even share them. Exactly. I just post it's not even worth on sharing on the YouTube page. link. It gets no love on his Facebook. His YouTube shit. link is already... I'll, if I'm going to share one, I'm going to share his. I put it on mine just so that when people ask me where they can find my stuff, I don't have to link them all over the place. Right, right. Makes it easier. Hold so, on. I just wanted to... Who is this kid? Uh, what? Oh, the band? Yeah. Um, So... A friend of mine who was in a, a pretty successful pop punk band out here um, that's not a band anymore, he manages a number of bands, uh, this being one of them. Um, Paris being a, the biggest band he manages. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you know they got Major. you know smash yeah. hits. Um, yeah. like, but he, um, he said, hey, they had a video guy set up. Dude bailed. Uh, it's, you know, it's two, three weeks away. It's in Philadelphia. Like, can you do the gig? Blah, blah, blah. They had a budget enough for me to get out there it, yeah. and and Perfect. and stay for a few days and and honestly, um, coolest fucking dude I ever probably met through like most humble. Really? Like, wouldn't let me pay for anything. Would driving us around just all day long. Don't. Like wouldn't let me That's Uber anywhere. Be, bro, like, That's like, amazing. Super I mean, nice dude. Yeah. Should be good business. Yo. Yeah, he was. You know, like, if it was I me, always... I would have been asking you like, you got extra five dollars? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> like, it was a good friend of mine who linked us up, and he had said good things about us to each other. So I mean, we yeah. both knew ahead of time that it wasn't gonna be weird or anything. But you know, every time you're met with that kind of hospitality, like in someone else's city, and right. they want to show you around, they want to take you to yeah, their favorite bars, that's they want to the show you. Definitely around, makes you know? it easier. Yeah, it, it makes it, send us some cool spots for photos, like hooked us up with some shit. Yo, yeah, traveling cool. the world off like music for us or video right. for you, like, is there anything better? Like, Fucking amazing. No, you feel like, it's weird. I've never thought, I, you know what I mean? I'd be, Getting someone paying for me to get on a plane when you were just taking a video of your man to show how wasted he is and shit. Yeah, right. right, Trying to get him to get off drugs. I mean, and it never, never really was my intent. You know, the last few years or five years, maybe or so, it's been. You know, this is what I'm doing as a career, and it's been taken a lot more seriously. And I've started. So this is definitely what you're trying to do. Like, yeah, I want to do. I have a lot more. Well, let me ask you this, because Rose, before I came in, I seen Rose Glenn. Um, said on his status on Facebook that he was working on something epic. I have two questions. Can you say what it is? And can I? How how can I get down? Ooh. Um, in some way. <laughs> I can't <laughs> say what it is smart, yet. Yeah. I can say that we started shooting the first episode. It's a pilot episode for a show that okay. we're working on. Um, so it's a show. It's more than a show. Okay, it's, it's a, more than it's a show. A, it's a it's a bigger platform than that. But yes, it, it, a show is a piece of it. Um, we just. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's 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 a different. It's, it's it's not hip hop, so it, it's not. Love I don't it want it to get now. tied into to that stuff. I don't. I mean, nope. that's why nobody in that our circle really knows or needs to know yet, because it's not something that right. necessarily I can use their help with, and I don't. Right, you know right, right. I mean? So, so why? why so give it up? You wait until to. um. You know, I think everyone around here, whenever they have a new endeavor, whether it's entrepreneurial or it's just creative or whatever, they jump the gun and they're telling Facebook about it. Yeah. And then not only that, but We've been, this has been working, I've been doing this for months, and we actually just, I was excited that we spent six hours yesterday linking up and actually shooting it, that I, like, I wrote the status, yeah, but yeah, sometimes it wasn't, know. like, you know, this has been months in the making, and I haven't said anything about it, like, right. my girlfriend just found out the other day, right. like, um, oh. so, it's like, it's, 
it's definitely something I want to keep under wraps until we have all the stuff and yeah. you guys are seeing it. And then you guys are going to be like, okay, what is this? Right, right. right. And I then, feel the you know, same way. I know. So, Damn, you got my attention, man. I'm watching for that one. I'm easy to do that, too. Like, just be like, oh, I got something crazy I'm Me working too, on. But, you know, I've learned that I don't do that shit. Fuck Sometimes it it holds me accountable you, if I say like I'm gonna do this this and this. Yeah, and that's I go, true. Oh, I told you know a couple thousand yeah, people I was yeah, gonna do that. Yeah, I have to go do that now. Do right, so I gotta do it, it now. Works, but I don't like to like you know everyone's out there just jocking ideas. What shit. happened with the uh, huge uh, John Glass Blaze P thing? I, I haven't heard from Blaze P. And what, where, I don't where, know where'd that how kid long. go? He Did was bro. Shout out Blaze P. I've known him for years. I love him to death, but he'll disappear for like a year, year and a half at the time, and just. You know, then I'll get a call from him one day. You Yo, know? this creative I, shit is hard, bro. Chasing this he, shit, I yeah, swear man. it and takes a toll on your mental. Dude. Yeah, oh, he, he redid the intro for me. It came out fucking amazing. He is live. incredible. Really? Yeah. And I just haven't heard from him in like two years. He's I actually man. called him like a couple months ago because I had uh, I got an email from his girlfriend because I had shot. She works for some nonprofit, and I had shot a gala that they put together in the seaport a couple years ago, and um. She reached out about it again. I I reached out back, and the conversation didn't get far enough for me to ask about Paul. But like, I was yeah. like, where the, yeah, where's yeah. he been? You know, and I didn't know. But like, like did he even... move? Is he out here? I'm sure he's your still guess out is good there. as mine. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know him like that, so yeah. I don't know. Well, well, I knew that like he had done this before, where he, I had just not heard from him okay. for a long time. Well, shout time. out to Blaze P. Either yeah. way, you kiss super talented. If you're listening, I could be that thing you want. Yo, Kev Hart, should we get into the Kev Hart shit, man? What yeah. do you think about what do you think about Kev? I don't really Kev? know much gotta, about it. I heard he cheated, really? obviously, but so did he the admit girl this? is from out here. The girl I heard that. Where's she from? She I like don't a know small where town she's or something, from, right? but she's from Massachusetts. Because right. I know girls in Revere that know this girl that say she was a traveling stripper. She that was bad, awesome. right? I think I seen a picture of her. Which look, which look. is a is a, yo, these girls be traveling getting money, bro. Oh, I, was I at, know all about it. Yo, yo, can I interrupt real quick? Yeah, of um, course. My uh, my homegirl who I went to high school with, was in homeroom with, um, still talked to. She worked at the strip club like a block away from my house for a yeah. while. What's the name um, of that one? Uh, Alex? She, Alex's. Yeah. She was just dancing for the um, Kendrick YG tour on stage. Wow. Yeah. Major. So um, she's traveling on that tour doing stadiums, you know. Oh, um, but I'm talking about like strippers. Oh, no, she's stripping oh. on stage. <laughs> oh. Like they got poles. Like, I don't oh. I mean, maybe they keep their clothes, but they're, yeah, dance, yeah, they're yeah, pole yeah, dancing. Yeah, you know yeah what exactly. I mean? um, but yeah, I mean, she is a stripper and, you know, like whatever. Like, I'm sure she's stripping at clubs yeah, along yeah. the tour too. Dog, like, they know? get crazy money, Dude, I'm telling you. They make bank, especially when they know what they're doing and they're hustling. I like, was in, I was at Centerfolds like a month ago or something. Something like that, maybe a little more. No, I didn't. <laughs> Luckily, the kid I was with did. Is this, what's the girl's name? We have is strip club Mola? stories. Is that a name? segment? Because I can go for it. You could get into it? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> we so, had some crazy ones last weekend with Dead Eye in here. Really? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Vegas last month. Oh, oh, me man. too. Me too. I could blow so someone's, listen. Uh, yeah, we could get uh, right into that if you want. So this girl, <laughs> this girl at Centerfold, she was this blonde girl, and she was from East Boston. So I just remembered it because I'm kind of from Eastie too, right? Yeah. So whatever, we were talking, whatever, whatever. So then I go out to Vegas. I'm in the strip club in Vegas. I'm leaving. I'm walking out the door, and all of a sudden I hear, Boston? I turn around. Whoa. It's the fucking girl from Centerfolds, the blonde girl. She was Whoa. in Vegas. She had flown out there for the Mayweather. She fight. recognized you from being a regular over. The- no, 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 <laughs> not a regular, not a regular. Um, w- did you find a picture of this girl? I Is she? Few. I'm sure she's gotta be. She's gotta be smoking, yo. She looks bad if it's if it's her. But um, so I don't whoa. even know the chick's name. Uh, but I, I just Google girl that Kevin Hart cheated with, and she looks bad AF. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm sure she is. So he hooks up with this girl in Vegas. I think there was a couple girls. Somehow, wifey video, pregnant at home, right? Yeah, wifey is pregnant at home. Um, I think video comes out of somehow someone took video. So she tried to extort got, him. Long she tried to show, extort right? him. Yeah, but she's saying she has nothing to do with it. It she's was just like, a I heard it was clip of him like getting out of the bed or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But so what would you so my question is how would you I, I posted on Facebook yesterday and I was like yo I think that's some real shit that he was able to go to his his wife and be like yo listen I fucked up whatever whatever but this girl's trying to extort money from me we right. can't let that happen and you know what I mean I now seen your status forward. you got a you got a lot of um yeah got some traction yeah, some, Girl, some girls some back and forth some of the on girls it. were not feeling it well girls always like, gonna feel a cheat, different way and, you, you know. cheat once you out right but I don't know what do you think about well, I, I, the situation I'm not really up to date on. Like I said, the only thing I knew about it was the auto-tuned apology. Oh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But yeah. that caught Yo, my attention. But bang, bang um, that. other than 
I so mean, the I way- don't know. I mean, what, what, so what happened? He cheated on her, and then he, he didn't tell her until she was getting extorted. So this yeah. is basically yeah, saying yeah, that he yeah, thinks yeah. it's real yeah, as fuck that right. he was like, yo, like, this is what it is. Like, I cheated on you. It's so about to come out, blah, blah, blah. Right? That's yeah, what he did? Yeah, 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 yeah. But he didn't, obviously. I mean, See, he so that's told the told her is because he knew it was, yeah, 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 it was, it was yeah, coming yeah. out, and, but if and he, he was going to get extorted. So if he says something, he saves all his bread, right? Yeah, Because you're not going to get extorted. Yeah, you're trying to, at least. But, yo, I think when you're this... When you're this type of Kevin Hart is a fucking you're too famous, dude. massive star, yeah, yeah, yeah. a yeah. massive celebrity, right? So I would imagine, and I don't know, maybe I could be wrong, but I would imagine that when you're that much of a celebrity, you have like certain understandings with your partner. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She knows I what mean, it is. I know Will Smith and Jada talk about it a lot, how they have open relationships. And how I gotta assume she knows what it is when he's on the road. That's what I'm saying, yo. So like maybe maybe she knew. I mean, well not knew specifically, but knew like sometimes, you know what I mean? Well, what is her reaction? What is she's staying with him. Has she said anything publicly? Uh I don't know. First of all, Stiz, you got people on your status shit about this topic saying uh, one girl was like, dude, she was the side piece when she, when she met. Oh, so yeah, that's true. She too. knows what she's doing. Yeah, I'm reading that true. right from your thing. That's so if you if you song. if you jumped it off as the side piece and then and then you become that yeah. at some point, like what the fuck? If you, you think? cheated on him, you do it to me. You're Stiz. telling me, it's yo, different. Stiz with the R and B shit lately, yo, Stiz. No, I seen is, a Snapchat this. or a Facebook something of you singing the other day. It was immature. Oh, it was yeah. immature and it was jagged edge <laughs> and I was like yo let me find cause I don't know Stiz like that like you know what I'm saying we didn't yeah, come up together we, we learn each other we're, we're like learning each other a lot That's on the go. show and shit and like yo I just cause I'm an R&B head so I, no, I caught I you singing jagged edge R&B, and yo. I was like yo I didn't know you got but this is like my that. this is my favorite song that's out right now I would say like a lot of people don't know about it. It's like, but I'm telling you, this song is about to come up. I'm telling you. I should make smart <laughs> I need to make smart uh, decisions. Kevin Hart. <laughs> What's his <laughs> AKA? Chocolate uh, Drop? Chocolate yeah, Drop? Chocolate something, right? Yo, I'm at, yo, having to make that IG video this week. Your Kevin Hart. Dude, the auto tune apology shit is cracking. Check this shit. Why is. Why do you have to make an IG video when it's I don't a, know if this I isn't you a don't problem. Have to. This isn't a problem that's regarding right. maybe it is regarding sponsors but maybe and stuff, that, but it's was, yeah. like, maybe it made his girl feel good, the fact maybe, that he yeah. went on social right. media to the world like, yo, I fucked up. This is my girl. This is who He's I like, want to oh, be. I'll make a video, all right? <laughs> yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah I know, right? She's like, Okay, baby. Yeah. Cause I don't know. Work. I didn't put I, I didn't put my girl on uh on my social media a lot. You know, I did. it. That's an argument for another day. Yeah. 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 Uh, I need another. I need to get another guest on here to have that <laughs> argument. <laughs> yeah. But so I don't know. So maybe the girl wanted him to do the uh, inst- maybe the girl wanted him to she do the Instagram. Did. I don't know. Would you have done it, Snuck? Would you have made the video? On you got to do what you got to do to keep her happy. Um, if you fucked if up I that wanted, bad, right? She's pregnant yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. She's Same. pregnant. If you Same. fucked up that bad and you want to be with her and that's your mother, your kids. That's true. Like, and she's pregnant and you're staying with her. Yeah, you know. I, but I think that says a lot about. Um, <laughs> I think that says a lot about her that that he's staying with her because he's Kevin Hart. He could leave. Do you think this is the first time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this no, conversation. Yeah, he got caught not. up. That's all. Absolutely not. So, what's the verdict on Kevin Hart? I mean, you think this is gonna mess with his? I think it's another day in Hollywood. Yeah, another day in Hollywood. It's gonna not gonna affect week. ticket sales. Next week not gonna will, affect. Um, no, if anything, he's more famous right this yeah. week than he was last week. We'll completely yeah. forget about anything negative. It's actually, you know, so he's going to come out with a movie about, about He'll drop the same topic, and this is all going to come no, out with a No, an hour-long uh, comedy special. Oh, yeah. so that's what people were saying. i seen rappers tweeting it like, yo, I can't wait to hear how he goes about this on the next stand-up exactly. special. Exactly. Which is... You're going to learn today. And, and and he puts his shit and in theaters. And he is at the level of fame where you're like, Put this, shit in theaters. this could all be fake. You know, yeah, exactly. I don't think that's that exactly. was like local because everyone's like, gonna go to like the him, like this. Anything could be. Everyone's gonna like, go to the theater now to see the next stand up. Oh, I absolutely. mean, everyone. It will be number one in the world yeah. to check what he's gonna say about. I'm checking it. his fucking IG like that. You kidding me? Right. Of course, everybody's gonna go to his. Uh... Speaking of IG and all that shit, what about the Kevin Durant shit? KD? What happened with KD? He made like a fake account to clap back at uh, like fans and or shit talkers or whatever in how general. How did they find out it was him is my question. I'm not sure because I don't know the... I'm, I'm a headline reader. I don't yeah, think yeah, too yeah, deep yeah. in this shit. I don't got time. Yeah. But I do know that it is confirmed and it is true. Like he made a fake account which is the corniest shit I ever heard in, in my life. There's been times where I've wanted to write back 
under me, obviously, not yeah, no fake yeah, shit. Yeah. And even I don't, I don't even write back under my own shit. Fake let's shit think so how cool. busy someone like him is. <laughs> exactly right? right. And you are that insecure right. and that busy to have the time in the day. To so make I don't know fake. though. Like I'm pretty petty. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, do that shit. Saying, like, you don't have two hundred fifty million dollar in, like endorsement deals right. that requiring you to be right. at photo shoots cool and meet head. and greets and and are you and rich gyms petty? That's different. Stores every day of the Can you imagine though? The internet is a fucking crazy, cruel place where they tweet Bette Midler to die, you fucking cunt. Like, it, <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the wildest place ever. Right. So can you even imagine, like, I mean, I'm just a, a, a fucking, like, we, like, snucks at a Z-list celebrity. Right. And I got people that hit me up and be like, yo, you fucking suck, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah, all this yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. So imagine being what someone like KD, like, the comments that that motherfucker must have, read. Yeah, you gotta have tough skin to, to be... Like, that's to be easy. out there yeah. like that, he yeah, must that's be what super I'm insecure. If but you're that thin skinned and you're you're fucking what, NBA player back? with millions of dollars, but yo, of dollars? maybe maybe he was just like drinking with his guys and was like, you know what? They're reading that they're like, yo, Might man, fuck these people. Oh, well, yeah, but if anything, but clap back read. under your own name. But from what know? I heard, but, is it went back on some time. Like he's oh, been okay. using this account for like a for minute, a little right? Bit. You like, can't clap back under your own name. Once again, just exactly sponsorships. You can't. Oh, like, that's so right. Can't so, that. like, so, so maybe yeah. he was doing it just because he wanted. Yeah. To just, maybe he was like uh, fucking joking around with his boys. Like, yo, look at it. I'm gonna fuck with these. I'm gonna yeah, fuck with these. I would have just had my boys do it then. Right. Because the, yeah, the long story short of it is that I think it's corny as fuck. He looks corny I think to it's me. Co- it now I'm super corny. happy he's not a Celtic because we be getting mad shit right now. <laughs> Uh, real quick on sports, Trump said last night uh, he he made a speech and he said something about the fact that he was like. He was, uh, what the frick did he say? Something like. I missed this. Oh, he was like, you know what? At, at, at national football games, if someone wants to take a knee and disrespect the flag, then why don't we kick them out of the NFL? <laughs> He's the so, worst. <laughs> He's so that's I, not your decision to I, make, Mr. Trump. I almost don't even like talking about it because it's so dumb. It's like talking about a dummy, like a dumb I person that doesn't. It like the, se- the whole season of South Park where they made fun of yes. the election. What did they Perfect. say on that? Oh, it's like 10 episodes what was his long. name? Um, he was something. Douche, and she was something. giant douche. The douche right? and the fucking whatever. Yeah, the shit. But was no, perfect. they had him just. Uh, they just made fun of the election for. for wait, months. wait, wait. Here, here it is, real quick. To see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag. Fuck the NFL to owners. To say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's. Like, are you serious, so bro? Corny. This he was literally the same guy nothing. that was saying the violence on both sides. There's both sides. Right, right. So, like, you know, if it's like the the. The the white nationalists and stuff. He doesn't he doesn't come. You don't, you don't see him him calling them son of a bitches. He's like he tiptoes around that issue. Right. But this shit with the NFL, Always. he wants to. This is the thing. To... He's not the brightest person in general. So oh, it's like I, I don't even like talking oh. about people that have like. He's like like my racist uncle at the dinner table. <laughs> right, right, that's, right. That's what that's what he's really like. Yeah, he's the worst. iPhone, iPhone. You you don't. I do not I, have. You I don't am, have an iPhone, fuck right? Fuck iPhone, bro. You fuck with iPhone, right? I do right? not fuck with iPhone. I they only with. want you to buy their fucking products. Every two years, they're going to drop a new yeah, shit. I got the 7 shit. Plus. There's no fuck way I'm that. hopping right into an 8 right now. Like, I just got this fucking 7 Plus And they drop, what, ago. two at a time? The 8 and the 10? I don't even know what that's yeah. about. Yeah, I don't, dropping the I, I don't need a phone two. that big. That thing's like an iPad, I think, the 10. And I don't, that's the other thing. I don't like these bigger fucking phones, I got, yo. I got the 6S, I think this is. like yeah. The Plus is too big for me. Yeah. Um. Right, I'd think you would fuck with the plus because you do videos and yeah, shit. Like it's more know, to look I don't, at. I don't really. Cause that's why many, I got. I don't take too many videos on my phone unless it's the a video. Snapchat. The video yeah, camera like, is good though. I know they did a whole episode oh, yeah. of Modern Family well, with, with fucking iPhones. They changed like that portrait mode they added. Like yeah. finally, like I mean, I don't know why they don't just change it so you can have manual settings. That way you can right. change it. Do but, it whatever, um, yeah. Portrait mode, at least you can get that look that like depth of field where the background's kind of blurry and the subjects in focus and it actually looks like a real camera I love you that know? I love that shot Whoa. when the background is blurry but yeah, like, that is the dope. person right here I mean if you just they just clear. let you change the What is the new shit that iOS 11? No no I know iOS 11 we'll get into that next but what is the the new phone in general do No I don't that, the, not, that my 7 plus doesn't already do I'm not up on that like All right, I'm not so, a nerd like I, Well but so the iOS they, I know they, they dropped iOS 700 bucks yeah. Apple announced three new phones it's a thousand this footage. month. The yeah. iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, and the high-end iPhone X. Right. That ain't for us. That's for, that's for a different breed of motherfucker. That's, uh, that's not geared towards us. And now they got that face recognition shit. Oh, that's what it is. It has face rec- recognition. So that's shit, why yeah. everybody was saying, like, 
you know, dudes in relationships need to be sleeping with masks over their face. Right. So that while you're sleeping, your right. girl can't just be like, I'm sure Boop. you can just not set it up the same way you can't set yeah, up. Yeah, of course. Fingerprint. The fingerprint. fingerprint yeah. yeah, yeah. John, why you got to fucking bring and logic just, into he's this a, fucking He's a smart dude. He knows his shit. Jesus and, Christ. And, and newsflash is too late, anyways, with the face recognition shit. Yeah. They have it through Snapchat and everything They've else. They've had it through what? Facebook before Facebook. Snapchat, too. You ever post a Facebook picture on Facebook exactly. and it tags people already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. we need to talk about your fucking phone is listening to you. Yes, no let's get bullshit. into that because I truly believe that no shit. No well, bullshit. Say the story that happened to you this week and then we'll get into it. Well, s- Edward Snowden proved that and that's why he's well, yeah, not allowed yeah, around yeah, here. Like, absolutely. you know what I mean? It's absolutely. 100% right. fact, yeah. That it's motherfucker, though, I like. I agree. Like, you know, someone has to blow whistles when there are whistles that needed to be blown, right? But I'll like that dude, that. just like he has this air of like cockiness to him, though. That I just don't like. I'm like, yeah, I know, like you, 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 you did think a you're good doing the right thing, thing, yeah. But like, I know you, like deep down, you're like, yeah. I he had his own that. agenda, maybe I too, you know. That. Yeah, absolutely. But your phone is listening to you. No bullshit. This is be- this has been happening to me multiple times, and now I know it is true because you didn't Google nothing, right? Uh, Nothing was no. In, I did in not print Google anything. Text I was literally with my Talking. boy, and I, I said to him, "Yo, I need to get a pair of brown boots. I need to Crazy. get a pair." I just said it. I need to get brown boots for the winter. This shit happened to me before too, so that's why I believe. Like you. a couple hours later, I'm scrolling through Instagram, and a sponsored uh, thing came up, and it's brown boots. Right. It, right. Now this this has Crazy. happened to be this this has happened to, happened me, to me multiple too, times yeah. before. Yeah. Definitely a fact. That I'm just saying stuff out loud, not googling anything, right. nothing. And that's it used to happen to me on Facebook. But it would be something I had searched for. Right. And I'm like, that's all right, obvious. I know they're all yeah. cross contaminated. Yes. Amazon's the one who started that with right. the selling. They right. Got really good at selling. So products, I don't understand how, how, what the fuck do you think they're doing well, when they hear keywords? It's keywords. They're recording yes. automatically five well, seconds well, or something. You think? I know the iPhone when when plugged in and I think connected to Wi Fi, it is always looking out for the Hey Siri command so you can okay. talk to it like like you would in Good Amazon, point. Alexa, yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So your microphone's always on, oh, looking for that shit. command, True. looking for you to say, "Hey Siri." So Damn, let's say that it's not looking, everything. It's not yeah, looking for "I need to buy" or "I want" or "I need to get." It's right. not looking for that phrase and just picking up whatever's after it. Right. And there it is. You know. <laughs> That's just, you get an answer for every I've question. Said, yeah. I've said, know. you know, where do you want to eat? You want to go to blah blah blah, and then that pops up. You yes, know? And, and, and you're right. like, okay, like I've never, I know I've never Googled like right. Texas yes. Roadhouse or something like you know, like, and definitely not in recent. Shout out Texas Roadhouse <laughs> if you <laughs> want to advertise your product or <laughs> oh, service. Yeah. Okay, shout out to bleep. So here's where it can <laughs> stuck get stuck on stuff podcast at gmail.com if you want to advertise over oh here. yes please oh, we are we, we we are definitely trying to advertise because i need a new car so this needs a car i'm gonna, gonna say it every week until week, you get out of I, that hoopty. i really need a new car i have a shit baby blue hyundai and <laughs> i need suck. something new uh but real quick so here's though when that shit can get kind of creepy right so a couple weeks ago i had just googled um spa in revere massage like uh in revere because i wanted to get a massage right so next thing I know, I'm at work. A, f- a Chinese girl hits me up with a message <laughs> on Facebook, right? Hits me with a message and is like, hey, I work at this spa in Revere. You should totally come by and check it out. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. So, like, I start talking to her a little bit. She's like, yeah, like, I'm right in Revere. She's like, and I know who you are. I listen to your show and I, and I like your music and da-da-da. And I'm like, huh really so we're going back and forth so she starts telling me like yeah like i can come by your house i can come by your house and for like you know um she's like i'll give you an hour-long massage i'm like how much she's like 40 bucks so i'm like so you already know what i'm thinking kind of right but i'm like set up but even if i but even a massage i'm like fuck i'll take a massage right so doug we're going back and forth i'm leaving work i just got out of work i'm going home i'm like yo i'm about to get a massage by this little friggin' asian chick right (laughs) So then, um, all of a sudden, uh, so she she out of the, she's like she sends me a message. She's like, "Yo, I just want you to know, j- so that no one's embarrassed." She goes, "This hour long full body thing, uh, it comes with a happy ending at the end." Yeah. So like, hold up, this is all on text or this is Facebook a message, in- Facebook in- message, inbox, whatever. Yep. So um, sounds like a cop. So, yo, so I smell setup so all over this. I'm shit. like, yo, this is the most bizarre thing, right? But like. 
that's probably only like 40%. The other 60%, I'm like, yo, this is about to go down. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> You're like, yo, but what if it is real? <laughs> yeah, right? So then then she's like, yeah, she's like, yo, she's like, I can meet you, right, you know, right next, right in the Walgreens parking lot. The Walgreens is like right next to my fucking house, bro. She even says, she goes to me, yo, she goes, one time I seen you eating at Floramos, which is a restaurant in Chelsea. One time I seen you eating there a few months ago, but I didn't want to come up to you because like you were with someone. I had gone to dinner with my boy Pat at Floramos a few months ago, right? It was super fucking weird weird hmm. so she's like you know i, th- I forget what it was 8 30 i'll meet you at the walgreens parking lot i'm like all right word so all of a sudden so like 60 percent of you won <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah clearly, won. yes so at like t- i don't know 10 15 minutes before i have to be there i'm like yo something isn't adding up yo like something about this isn't adding up right <laughs> and so i take out facebook i i go to hit her um her profile gone deleted Oh man! And still. from that day, I had never seen her again. But I, wow. but it was the weirdest she never thing showed that showed up. Obviously, oh, I never went. Oh, well, I did go about twenty. Minutes. <laughs> I went. I he went did the drive by. I did the drive by yeah. twenty minutes after I was supposed to be there. Yo. I did the drive by. She wasn't there. She told me she was going to be in like a black Mazda 6 or some shit. Wow, Stiz. But I don't know. That shit was super creepy, bro. I hate and everything I just, about that story. I had just Googled you Spa in Revere. You told him his favorite and worst story in one day. <laughs> Dog, I hate everything about that story. I don't yeah, know, that is phone, weird. Man. Um, what was I going to say? These phones. Yeah, they... Man. Especially if you're Googling something. I mean, that's just... We got to get to the bottom of who this Chinese girl was. So I feel like it, it gets... was a white boy. It probably well, I don't know. So it, it does get a tad bit weirder. So like I said, at one point she had said to me, she said, I seen you at Floramos a few weeks ago or a few months ago and I didn't say anything, right? So when when she had said that, I had remembered like three months ago, like literally the week that I had really went out to eat to that place, another girl sent me a friggin' Facebook message and was like, Hey, nah. I saw you eating at Floramos. Yeah, no bullshit. Same bitch. And or I kid, remembered whatever. it, and I went Guy. back to that other girl, the first girl that did it, and she, her Facebook was deleted as well. It was oh, a so weird. You got somebody thing, fucking you know? with you, huh? What know. do you got a stalker? You and, think? The, and they kind of like the way they, the way that all went down. Like it kind of, it kind of seemed like she knew where I lived, or th- that person knew where I lived. Definitely knew where you. So it's either it one of your, like, yeah, one of your boys. It's one of your boys through. fucking with you, yeah. Which was my original thing, yeah. Or it's uh, I hit up Pat. You guys know weird. Pat. I hit him. He, he said it wasn't him. So I don't know. I mean, if it is one of your boys fucking with you, obviously continue to fuck with him. I think it's What's funny, the worst thing your boy ever did to fuck with you? Man, that's a good one. I would probably need some time I to think on I can't say I've really been fucked with that bad. I mean, I think good, I've had stuff drawn I'm usually on my the last one. Oh, yeah. I've I'm had the last like one a up, dick so. drawn on my face. Yeah. I've passed out. I've had, a, I've <laughs> had the dick drawn on my I face. I never had none of that shit. I'm up. I'm up. He said, I'm up. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't the I worst. was the type of dude, I though. Guess maybe it was the worst. I would be at the party. We would all be drinking. And then at like 2 33 in the morning, I would have had enough. And I would not tell anybody. I would just go to another room and, and pass out. Right, like that, right. That was my thing. I did that every single time, yo. Like, not say nothing. I would just dip and, yep. just, and just go to bed, yo. I wasn't, I couldn't do like the all night thing, yo. I just could never do it. This, how much? What are we looking at? Like probably another 10, 15 minutes. We yeah, got? exactly. We got to get into the mad pooper. Yeah, what was that? The <laughs> mad pooper. I don't know. I just kept hearing about. Was it. she out here? Nah, it was, uh, where where was the mad pooper? Uh, I want to say somewhere weird. Uh, uh, Colorado Springs. It was in Colorado. It was a female. That's why I want to talk about. Yes, it. It is Usually in these situations are like guys, which is hilarious too. But I just think it's funny and different that it's a girl. She's she's a jogger. She's dropping deuces all over the town. Every day people are calling the pigs. <laughs> Who, the no, cops. Wait, is it one family hide your though? Kids, hide, your wife. hide your kids, hide your wife, yo. <laughs> this are, this, this week news bro is shitting on everybody. A female jogger in Colorado Springs who has been terrorizing a family. Terrorizing. By defecating <laughs> outside of their home on a weekly basis. So I think it's just this one family. Yo, a so family of mad poopers. Oh, so maybe she no, got no, no, beef. No, no, no. But there's a picture She's of the girl. She's pooping on this. She's pooping it's on a, this. It's hereditary. <laughs> oh, there is a picture. There's a of picture her. of the girl. So it's obviously low. And she jogs every day. It's a woman. Yo, Yo Charmin. I was tweeted just out. gonna say she, this. I yes. got the Shaman thing right what, here. They, they Duh. She, at at Shaman on IG or Twitter. If if the hashtag Mad Pooper turns herself in. We'll give her a year's supply of TP to help her <laughs> runs. I love when uh, big brands tweet out funny things. Oh, like yeah, Wendy's does it sometimes. Yeah. Like Wendy's was shitting on somebody. And I think did. it was Burger King or McDonald's actually. Hold somebody on. Tw- somebody tweeted at Wendy's saying, and "Yes, like, saying um, like talking McDonald's shit about them or something." Because we know you're lying about your frozen patties. How do you like get your patties somewhere if you never right. freeze them? Yeah, and they were like, uh, "What do you do when you want to keep something cold and not freeze?" Like. 
a yeah. refrigerator. Like, yeah. don't hate on us because like right. you yeah. forgot refrigerators. Yeah, exist. yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. You know, yeah. it was just something Slick hilarious. Shit. Hold like, on, here's the news segment from the. We call her the Mad Pooper. They came screaming. You know, you're not gonna believe. We call her the Mad they're, like, Pooper. Crying. It's like what? And they're like, there's a lady taking a poop. And so I was <laughs> like, like, oh dear goodness. <laughs> and oh, goodness. So I was like, she's are you serious? Are you are you really taking a poop right here in front of my kids? And she's like, yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's so they were right there watching her poop. Natural thing we would God. do. She's society. like, "You taking the poop from my kid?" She's like, "Yeah." Drop your trousers. She's and wiping too, and everything. I leave yourself right there. I mean, well, I would, you know I would run and push her over, especially yeah, into the poop in the middle of the poop, like just push her. <laughs> yeah. The scare into running more, so she has to run and continuously poop like that jackass <laughs> skit. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah, that reminds me of the marathon winner one year that oh, pooped all down the side. Oh, that was classic. The marathon dude. He was he was a fast walker, not even a runner. He was walking like this. Yeah, he, yes. <laughs> he he <laughs> ran disgusting. into the guardrails, fell down, and shit himself everywhere. It was amazing. Yo, I love these stories. We gotta do more story. stories about. We should follow up on the Matt Pooper uh, yes, next week. We see what happens. We should try to get her on the show. Is what we should do. That would be amazing. That would be epic. And we could break the story of of why the Matt Pooper. <laughs> uh, uh, yo, New England music is. Was there anything in New England music going on this week? Shit, I forgot. I usually jot them shits down. What dropped um, this week? And shit, you got you know anything that dropped? Millie's Sped Two drop. Sped Two drop. Major. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Major. Millie's That's, um, that shotted. That shotted. That's on the shots and everything. Shout out Millie's to being on the shots. And last time I seen it was. I think he was the on scenes. the cover of the Dig too yesterday. Yep. Dig Boston. Shout out Millie's. He's doing it right now. Go check out that I'm project. I'm going after that Dig cover. Uh, my also, name, so. obviously, ST the Squad is in stores. Uh, everywhere, whatever. You know of any any hip hop that dropped this week? No. John, really. re- talk about one thing I love about John, right? What's that? John don't give a fuck. He really don't. A he, fuck. He's about his business. Bro. So and that's it. Sometimes Facebook is a fucking crazy place. It's a crazy place the full craziest. of insecure playing people and and lies. A bunch of a bunch of bunch of fucking lies. Mm-hmm. And I will see something that. Like, numerous times, it, I wouldn't say a day, but certainly a week, I will see something on Facebook, and I will be like, oh, my God, I want to comment on this so bad. Every and day just call life. this motherfucker out Every for day this I bullshit. It. Especially I, when, my, when my thing is 90% fucking want to be rappers. It's the worst. I just, but I, I won't. I, I, don't, I won't do it. Don't you know, do it right? You don't do it either. I, I try really. John it's, don't it's give hot. a fuck, bro. John does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, John, yeah, yeah. John does. Yeah, he does fucking comment what everybody's I thinking. I phase where I was just like, all right, people need to be told like, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. what it is. Like, be humble. Well, Sit like, down. Like, we see through you. You know what I mean? Like, Talk we about see people that fucking your stupid post. What do you think I'm about- I'm thinking of, like, five right now, and we all know oh, it's so God. obvious. We all know that. I can't think of any person specific right now, but I can think of a number of circumstances where people lie about things that oh, they yeah. all, like- Now, what will like, you do? Will you hit the comment section and just write, lies? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll usually, um, I mean- I'll just make a status depends, myself. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Saying, that's Please usually, stop yeah, doing yeah, this yeah, because, yeah, right, yeah, because yeah, we yeah. see right through you. Like, yeah. Yeah. N- uh, like the word. Uh, go on. What you is say? tagging? Is tagging I want thirty to let you people? Keep going. Is tagging thirty people in your project or your single or your whatever the move? Of course not. Of nah, course, not. never the move. No. I've had this conversation with someone, and I was trying to tell them, like, "Yo, I promise it's you that b- is back not the to move. The, what we were just talking about with them n- being the algorithms being algorithms being so smart that they can sell us anything, and they're listening to us and right. they're putting all that in front of us. The same things happening with your Facebook feed. If you're posting thirty yep. people in something, and ten or twenty of them are removing themselves from it. That post is not going to be shown to right. the other groups of people because uh, we're telling its algorithm that it's not important, uh, right? And we're telling, and I might even market as spam. So now it's really nice. love it. really you know, love your style. Yeah, so like love your style. Don't fuck. I might you know delete I you must too hit, if it happens more than once. I must hit hide from timeline five times a day. The thing is, if you have a lot of friends, like I know you have a lot of people who support what you do. If you tag those people who you know are going to share it, and you just mm-hmm. want to give them it, a notification, you yeah. know, that's totally different. But Tag people, do, who, tag well, hundred people. So no, I have no, a but simple. I'm saying, you have ten friends. Like you might want to tag Pat and whoever else. Oh, that yeah, you, that yeah. you know like that they're going to share. Yeah, that you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah, that you, yeah, yeah. My formula you is simple. You Facebook, tag, like, you tag the people it. involved. Yeah. You know, if you shoot my video, I'm gonna tag you yeah. in it. Yeah. Um. Uh, you tag the people involved, and for me, I'm a part of a group. So yeah, I will yeah. tag my ST squad. We work as a as yeah, a unit. We work certain. as one. So what we do is we blast out everybody's shit all at once. I right. just have a bunch of fake accounts that I've made <laughs> that I share my shit <laughs> on. On that KD I clap shit. Back. This is petty. I do man. all types of shit, bro. I'm no, fucking but, Petty Kruger. Yeah, I mean that's like <laughs> 
that I mean that's the most long running annoying thing people yeah. have been doing. Yeah, it's people, the worst. I swear, I, I don't know how people don't get that. I get more annoyed by the fucking delusional status. Yeah, the delusional. Um, the de- know, yeah, the, de- the, the, the the it's oh man, I don't yeah. know where to begin. No, what, no, what is that we phrase? Can, we have grandeur, a whole show illusions on that shit. of like, grandeur. Illusion is that the phrase? Illusion I don't know. Grandeur, I, I can't say illusion. that. Remember word. when? Uh, I think we talked about this before. One of us. Um, Me and you talked about it recently. The, at, at doing fuck your challenge part three. The, the one of my favorites is um the the fake I got stopped by a fan stories that don't come <laughs> with, that don't yes, come with yes, pictures yes, and don't yes, come with yes, anything. Yes. I've seen those. Yeah, that like you're so amped that someone recognized you from your music, your SoundCloud. That like you <laughs> you, you, you posted post it, it not on them Facebook, not and, them. And you didn't even take a picture. They didn't <laughs> ask for a picture. They didn't take you know. I literally read. I think I told either one of you this right. story. I read a um a status of somebody saying. I got pulled over. Luckily, the cop was a fan of my music. Oh, my and, uh, God. But is this anybody with and actual, like, no, no, followers no, or anything? This person has never cop... sold one song in oh, their life. Oh, my <laughs> you know, God. Sold as in sold and purchased. They right. put songs on the internet. But this is someone that you guys wouldn't know if I told you mm-hmm. their name. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Rapper? Yeah. Rappers are the worst. Yeah. Just the delusion, man. It's like, what? What? The delusion you, is real. You know, right? I always wondered, too. Do you too, think we like, believe it? That's what I was just going to say. Do you right. think you you, that we believe you? Maybe it's like, for the it's family. Yeah. It's Maybe awesome. it's for the family. Like, they but think, still, oh, like, I fucking be, Auntie Jenny and fucking Oregon. I would be Oregon's too embarrassed that man. Superstar Snuck is going to see my crazy thing. Right, I don't give a right. fuck about Auntie Jenny. Right, right, right. Auntie Jenny doesn't even go on Facebook. Yes, she don't. She just has the account. So then who's it racist. It's for them to, they really think they're getting away with it. They think that. They do. They think they that must. we buy it. They right. must. You know? And uh, I don't. <laughs> nah, we don't. Long story short, we don't. Uh, it's the craziest thing. But that's thing. just one example. You know, there's a million of them, you know. How do you think is the best way for someone to get their music? I mean, I know you're not. Uh, yeah. Uh, How do you like, think? Well, I mean, you, me you, I, well, no, you know what, John, you are, you know, you are, you are a tastemaker out here. You know what I mean? Your, your opinion does matter out here. You know, yep. that rose glance, that rose glance stamp does mean something. So how does someone get you know, uh, John Avini to want to share their music or want to contact um, them for a video. I don't know anything. them at all. Yeah, a yeah, message no, that's actually just personalized and a private message right. or an email um, Keep it that just it. says, you know, I if you're coming to me, you obviously are, have seen what I've done or something or you're a fan of what right. I've done or you want to get to know somebody that I know or whatever your agenda is. Gotta be something. Lay that out and say, hey, I like what you've done. I know you know these people. I want to get to know these people. Let me know what you think of my music. Yeah, right. You know? real. And you take the time to do that. I'll take three minutes to listen. But like, if you're just going to spam me with a, you know, a generic message or you're right. going to tag me, like I'm not, I'm going to purpose. I'm going to hate you. I'm not going to you know, hate I mean, you I'm for like, life. Not even like you could be good. Right. And I'm not going to listen to I it. I swear. Like, I said yesterday, 95% of the world's problems could be solved by just keeping it a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. really like, keep it do, like don't try to be too, like, yeah, don't try to be too cool. Communication. Just straight up, say, hey, like, you know, I want you to check this out. I would do that if I had a video that I really liked. I would like if right. I wanted to. If I saw someone that I wanted to get in front of, I'd I'd write them an email. Yeah, like, yeah. Why say, not? You know, email list is a new thing, bro. I think I need to I need to try to create. An I think email it's list. just like you're not you're you're not crossing any sort of boundary at all. You're like this is how you're supposed to. Yeah. I'm supposed to reach out to you. Yeah. Um, you can ignore it. You can respond in whatever time you want. You know, it's just mm-hmm. more of a laid back way to approach someone and not feel like you know it's urgent or you're bothering them. Or, right. Right. Or, you know? I wanted to, uh, because I know we got to dip out soon. A couple things I want to shout out Rose Glenn for getting me involved in Snapchat. Me joining Snapchat, Snapchat. Was, was because I of him. I still have refused. He convinced me. And he convinced me because I was going to the, uh, which is another thing I want to talk about, the, the, the Rose Glenn barbecues that you throw. Oh, yeah, we didn't he, even talk he about He throws those. these things yes. once a fucking year. They're fucking insane. Me yes. and Dad, I went to one a year yes. ago or whatever. I uh, think I, yeah, well, I, I missed this year's I've one. I don't know you. why. I, I guess my invite got lost. I, I forget what happened this year. <laughs> but these these things are fucking cracking. Food everywhere, bitches everywhere, alcohol everywhere, and everybody brings shit. It's not one of these fucking homeless ass bum ass parties. And your parents like, are everybody's cool. bringing bottles. Yeah, the I bottles got, are still there. Next, I morning. got some cool parents. You know, I've yeah. always been partying since a kid, and like not like partying like alcohol and shit, but like part. I've always had people at the house. Always yeah. since I was a kid, and I you know skateboard and as a kid growing up, like they always let us you know build shit. They always were super supportive of everything I did. So that's yeah, dope. and that shit seemed like it was getting so big. 
to the point. I, I know you told me at some point you wanted to do it at uh, like a not at your crib anymore, like at a public spot. Yeah, I make wanted, it even bigger I, and yeah, crazier. I wanted to do it on a boat. Actually, is, do you ah, have do you have plans crazy. for yeah. uh, like uh, small plans for next year? This motherfucker Rose had his own BBQ. snap filter. Fucking right, thing, right, right. right. Motherfuckers were doing that before every, you yeah. could do yeah. it. Yeah, before they were out there doing that like crazy. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. I, I like that's like you usually my favorite making? day. Um, I'm working on next year's, but. Not not like heavily, you know. I reached out and my buddy DJ's on a boat that um you know, is, is about the right cap size, so I'm gonna reach out so, to that dude. See, yo, you know. what about um Stuck on Stuff podcast, you think maybe some invites for that one? I know. Of course, good, bro. of course. We, in there. we should do a live podcast from the fucking That party. would be crazy. Right, right. What about um before I let you out of here, I know you you fucked with a lot of people for music videos and shit. Do you have a, is there like a like a bucket list as far as artists uh, any artists that you would love to work with on the music side of shit? No, not really. I wish it's uh, you know, just about yeah. It, it, it's, just, it's just about business. If you I'm come, just trying to yeah, man. I'm just trying to like um, get my life together. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, like, way so, more like, important. Honestly, yeah. like you know, if I heard a song from an artist I really liked and I, I a crazy idea, I'd reach out to them. You know, and yeah. I'd do it for nothing if I thought it was that could have been right. Idea. Right. But that doesn't happen in a long time. Like I'm kind of real busy doing like I got to shoot a birthday party right after this, so it's like I'm busy doing like. You know, stays busy. Shout out like to that, the parents that, that like, can afford to hire a professional video major. guy for their. Uh, just photos for the birthday, but That's yeah. Awesome. Um, He's like they no, couldn't afford the video. Yeah, they didn't get that package. <laughs> <laughs> um, but <laughs> no, like just so when you're when I'm trying to stay busy and just like stay scheduling this stuff and just like I'm doing everything myself, so it doesn't allow enough time for me to for really real, sit down yeah. and be creative like yeah. the way I want to, you know. Yeah. know Which you mean. means a lot of. M- the stuff I want to do doesn't get out, which is why I'm excited about this thing we talk, talked about earlier that mm-hmm. I can't say much about. It right, because right. it's something that I am I'm partnering with two other people and we're one other person. Um, How long until we know like what that um, is? In soon, real soon. Um, months, weeks. What are we talking? Uh, talking. I mean, you can know. Uh, this is such a See, tough it's topic. Gonna, we talked me. about it today. You want to just yell it out? I Yo, I got this. You want it because you're so happy but about it. If it, it was mine, it. I would yell it out right now. All right, but all right. Um, it's half mine, soon. so I can't. Yeah. I will say that I kind of gave away what I was doing the oh. other day on Instagram by accident. Oh. Mm. Uh, if anyone caught that, then mm. they it was have a an story, idea. so it's gone. It's not a story. It was a. Um, it's a post. It's it still a, there. It's not a post. It was a notification you would have got because I I linked the wrong Facebook oh. with the wrong account, so you would have got uh, Rose Glenn joined Instagram I'm, as I'm someone your, got that screenshot. Holla at us. Stuck on stuff. Gmail. Yeah, yeah. Um, stuck on, on stuff. Now, podcast. So we do have. We do already have an ig for this this brand that we're building um okay. but i don't want to spill it yet even you know awesome. even when the time is right let us know we'll i also it. got something i'm working on with john this weekend actually dope that oh yeah that's right uh, when can tomorrow. we tomorrow tomorrow when yes. can we look forward to that Stiz halloween Grammy. halloween so, Ooh, so we're is a big halloween cool cat for halloween yes yeah, we, we did, did lizzie, lizzie borden, borden. Yes, yes, that oh that's right yes. that's right that got pressed that got me into the globe actually so thank major of course thank you I had a good so time with that yeah, one. bro. So what did we learn real quick? We got to wrap it up. We learned the Mad Pooper is still out there. Mad pooping. Pooper is at large. On, at large, watch out. I mean, <laughs> if you have any tips, please call us. The Reach iPhone. Out to uh, us. I'm sticking with the iPhone I have for now. I'm still fuck iPhone because fuck iPhone. Johnny, you gonna you gonna go after it or you go with what you got? With iOS 11? Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm not upgrading until I get. Don't a new upgrade because I upgraded iOS 11. The, the people having issues. Wait for See, you. Always wait for the happens. second one. You never with Apple. You never upgrade oh, because right. always wait for the second. Or when third. you got always an older wait. model, they they purposely slow down your phone. Right. With the new software Derp so X. that you buy the new one. Talking to you exactly. So. Watch what you say uh, in front of your phone. Kevin Hart, Good it is call. what it is, but he's still going to get money. There's, there's more to this story. We'll probably we'll, have we'll to touch on, on it next we'll week or whatever. Watch what KD you is, your phone. Don't KD cheat. KD's is, corny. Uh, yeah, KD's corny. We're glad he's not a Celtic. Glad he's not yes, a Celtic. that's very true. And uh, we're at Stuck on Stuff Podcast oh, at gmail.com. Reach out. Um, Rose Glenn, hit Stuck on Stuff. Yep. Wait, on Twitter. At Stuck on Stuff. On Twitter at Stuck on Stuff Podcast on IG. Yeah, and if you obviously want to advertise your product or service, Stuck on Stuff Podcast at gmail dot com. I'm Superstar Snuck on everything. Rose Glenn, hit him with all your socials. Uh, Rose Glenn E N T on everything. Twitter, Snapchat, Rose Glenn E N T. Get at him. That's it. And I'm at Stiz Grammy on everything. Stuck on Stuff Podcast episode four. We out.